Thank you, Eric. Now let's find out about the morning commute. Good Friday morning to you. Pete, what's going on? Good morning, Lisa. It is Friday, finally. Just one work day away from the weekend. We've made it this far, and things actually look really good as far as the morning commute goes. Got some good news construction-wise. You don't have that too often. Near the main Valeria Sociable Foster Road is reopened near Western Road. Now, over the weekend, a few things are going to be changing construction-wise. The top level of the Western Hills Viaduct, or the lower level, rather, of the Western Hills Viaduct, the traffic patterns there are going to be changing. There's been some lane closures there. You want to watch out for that. And also, coming out northbound, the Lytle Tunnel is going to be closed on Sunday morning. But really, this morning, off to a great start. Now, you guys know that occasionally I have guest people uh, come on to help me out with traffic. It was about this time last year we had this lovely lady, Amy Storr, came yeah. on the show. She was uh, running the Flying Pig Marathon last year and blogging about that in a local publication. And uh, after, shortly thereafter, she moved to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to work uh, with a different publishing job that she took. And now we're excited. She's moving back home. She started a great online women's magazine here in Cincinnati called Cincy Chic, which is a really cool thing. She's the youngest CEO member of the Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce, which is kind of a cool thing. Very proud of that. But I'd say the coolest thing, though, has to be the fact that, uh, well, she's my girlfriend. Which is kind of a cool thing. Look at these uh -oh. pictures behind exactly. you. Exactly, that's right. These pictures coming up. I have to say, you know, I couldn't be more proud. We've actually been together two years. And the past year has been kind of tough, of course, being, you know, long distance, that sort of thing between here and Philly. But I know the past two years, compared to when I start thinking about the rest of my life, I know that I love you with all of my heart, and I couldn't possibly think of anyone else that I would rather want to spend my life with. So with my friends here in the studio and everyone watching at home as my witness, I'd like to know Amy Storer. Did we fool you? Oh my gosh, cincysheep.com. <laughs> yes. I had to get that in. Yeah. Oh my um, gosh, yes. Yeah, we've, uh, oh we've kind of God. been planning this out behind the scenes for quite a while, so uh, oh my. I love you very much. I love you, too. And, uh, we're, the no <laughs> we're the Pete and Amy engagement news comes first. Yeah, oh, my right? Oh, my God. I mean, you're, you're, the, the plugs are terrific. Keep them coming, girl. That's right. This is super. Oh, my gosh. I'm oh shaking. My. Totally not expecting it. Oh, I, I'm like, why is there a picture in the back here? Normally, don't get nervous up here too often, but I was very I, I nervous oh before that happened. Oh my gosh, that's in the chic mode here. We're and crying. We are crying. Oh my gosh. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> Amy, it's, it's terrific. We love Pete and Amy. It's going to be amazing, and uh, what a journey they're it's about to embark on. It's been a lot of fun being involved in it. Congratulations. Stay with us. News 5 today. I'll be back after this. Uh, are you